Hello, good afternoon once again, my dear Mathayum 1 students. How are you today? It's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to everyone. So I hope that you're happy today because it's Christmas. And today is uh, the last Friday of this year. Because next Friday, next week, that would be uh, December 1st. So for the next year, 2021. Okay. But again, still we will study using this platform. Uh, about uh, yeah, using Google Classroom since that we're not yet allowed to go to school. Okay, so it cannot uh, uh, be an obstacle for us to learn. Okay, so today we're going to continue only about what we learned last time yesterday about linear equation with one variable. Now remember when you say linear equation with one variable, this is an equation. So in an expression having an equal sign, just like this. So this is an expression and we have here the equal sign. Okay? And when you say one variable, you will see there only one letter. So it's either any letter in uh, in the English alphabet, okay, from A to Z. But usually they're using X, Y, Z, okay, as the variable. So again, um, for this one, we're going to figure out what is the value of x. So I will give you more example on how to evaluate and find the value of x for a given linear equation with one variable. So first, we have here the example now. We have here 2 over 5x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 3x plus 1. Okay, so we have the variable. The variable is x, and we're going to figure out what is the value of x. Okay, so we start. So we copy first uh, the equation we have here. 2 over 2 of 5x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 3x plus 1. Now, you will see here on the left and right side, so this is the left side and this is the right side, right? We're going to transpose. They, are, they have only one term. There's only one term. There's only one term. So we can transpose this uh, denominator here going up here and uh, transpose this denominator going up here. We're going to multiply them like 3x plus 1 times 2 and 5x minus 1 times 1. So that is cross multiply, transposition transposition of term. Okay, transposition of term or we can say cross multiply. So we multiply here going here and we multiply this one going here. It's like this. This one. So I multiply 3x plus 1 with 2, this 1, is equal to, we multiply 5x minus 1 with 1, just like this. So 5x minus 1 times 1, still the same, 5x minus 1, right? Okay. Now, after this, we're going, since that we have this bracket, so we want to take out that bracket by distributing. We multiply 2 here and 2 over here. So 2 times 3x plus 2 times 1 and we copy this one so you have this one we have 2 times 3x is 6x 2 times 1 is 2 is equal to 5x minus 1 now so we have here the, the left side and the, the, the uh, both side so we're going to combine like terms so again when you are combining like terms it must be like uh, a number with variable and a number alone so uh, we're going to put all the variables in one side and we're going to put all the constant or the number in one side. So for this one, since that 6x is greater than 5x, we're going to transpose 5x to the left side. So this is the left side, this is the left side, and this is the right side. So we're going to transpose this over here. Okay? So from positive, if we're going to transpose term, Okay, if you're going to transpose term from positive, it will be negative here. It will change the sign. If this is negative, then transpose, it will be positive. Okay, so vice versa. Now, this one is positive too. And we're going to put uh, the constant number to the right side together with negative 1. So, this is uh, positive too. Now, when we transpose this to the other side, it will be negative 2. Right? Here we go. This one. So I transpose 5x, this one, to the left side, it becomes negative now, negative 5x, right? And we have positive 2 here, 
and I transpose that to the right side, it becomes negative 2. Okay, the opposite. Okay, do you understand? Okay, now we continue. So, we have your like terms already. We have x and x and only number. So, we combine this. 6x minus 5 is x and uh, negative 1 and negative 2 is negative 3. So, we have to go. Therefore, the value of x is minus 3. Okay? Did you understand it? Now, we're going to do checking whether our answer here is correct. We're going to substitute this to our uh, original expression with the value of the variable. It's like this one. Here. So, you have here again 2 over 5x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 3x plus 1. We're going to substitute x with minus 3 or negative 3, right? This one. We change that with negative 3. We have 2 over 5 times negative 3 minus 1. Then 3 times negative 3 plus 1. We simplify. So this will be how much? 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 minus 1. And here on the right side, we have 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 plus 1. There we go. So you have 2 and negative 15 minus 1 and 1 over negative 9 plus 1. And we simplify this further. So negative 1 and neg uh, negative 15 and negative 1 is negative 16. On the other hand, right side, negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. There we go. Now for this one, so you can cut the negative because they are both negative. So we can take out negative. Or you can simplify this first. So 2 over 16 is how much? How much 2 over 16? That is negative 1 over 8 as well as with the other side negative 1 over 8. Or the answer is 1 over 8. Right? So you will see that they are the same equal. So it's either that the answer is negative 1 over 8 or 1 over 8. They're just, just the same. Similar. Okay, the same. As long as the left hand side and the right hand side are equal. So if this is negative or positive, still the same. Our value of x is correct. It is really negative 3. Because we come up with the left hand side and the right hand side to be equal. That is negative 1 over 8 or 1 over 8. Did you understand it? I hope so. Again, if you don't understand, you can watch again the video. Try to figure out if what happened, why is it that uh, negative, why is it that positive? Try to figure out. You can watch again the video many times. Okay? Now we go to the next example. This one. We have here given the equation 2 over 2x plus 3 minus 1 over 5 equal to 1. Find the value of x. So we have